Guys, this is Kumar Gupta from Asia Training Solutions and uh, this video is for installing the web tools which comes with HP. Uh, so some of my students, uh, um, you know, who have downloaded the latest version, they are not able to figure it out themselves. So they wanted me to create the video. So I thought, you know, I'll create the video and put it on YouTube. So it's actually pretty simple as to how to install the web tools uh, on um, on your system I mean install and deploy on your system and start using it so uh, just go to internet and you say download uh, web tools application so the first link uh, which is from microfocus just go ahead and then click on that and then it will ask you to download it so this is the marketplace of microfocus and it's an app delivery content web tools so just in case if you wanted this url so you can download and once you download uh, it will take you to this place and click on download it will ask you to register if you don't have an account uh, with the uh, hp or now it's microfocus i already have the account i have logged in so you see dear isha hi isha so that's why you know uh, it didn't ask me for a username and password but for you it will certainly ask you uh, it, uh, the file that gets downloaded is approximately 36.8 MB of file that gets downloaded and it's a zip version. So I've already downloaded it. So let me cancel this. Okay. So uh, just let me go to my downloads. So let me go to my downloads. So uh, the... the uh, the file has been already downloaded as you can see is a web tools 1.0 so you go ahead and ext extract it wherever you want so let me extract it to this file which is web tools okay so this is the file it got just extracted so you would have to install this strawberry pearl before you could actually start the server so it's pretty simple just double click on it and it will ask you to install it go ahead and install it so <clears throat> you you would obviously need the admin uh, rights on your system so you log in as an admin you'll be able to install it it's just a couple of steps you know it's just a very small program so uh, it got installed now um, you're all done very close just unzip this file so you see uh, the file has been unzipped so just go to this folder and then you just say start server and that's about it now you're all set uh, the application has been installed deployed whatever you want to say and uh, uh, this is the url okay so localhost and it's on the port 1080 so and then the web tools just type web tools and then this is the application so default jojo bean is already there you can log in with that and then you can play around with the application so the couple of things uh, uh, which you would face you might face while installing one is the port okay uh, the, you're trying to start and it's refused to start and one more thing before I could proceed uh, you wanted to use the application you make sure that you know this particular command line is open if you close this one if you close this one or you say RC you will not be able to um, um, bring up the application or use the application as you can see here okay so this is bringing it from the cache so that's why you are able to see it but otherwise you know uh, you will not be able to see because the server is down now so you wanted to make sure the server is up please make sure that this window is on all the time so that you can access this application okay and one more thing is sometimes when you're trying to start this server it refuses to start this is what what is the troubleshooting step is you right click on this particular thing and then uh, uh, on the on this start server uh, which is the executable file or window windows batch file and then just say run as admin this is when uh, some of the times you know it, it will run okay so sometimes it will start immediately otherwise you would have to say run is that run as an admin but even when you say run as an admin you know it, 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 the command prompts open and then immediately it closes so the probably the reason is the port 1080 which by default my server is using it might be used by some other server or some other program on your machine so this is when you would have to change the default port 
you would have to change the default port for that you go to the config files and open this http file you can open in a normal or you can open in a notepad plus plus or you can open in any of those modes and then if you wanted to change the port you see wherever you see this listen on line number 45 you can change the port here now i have changed from default port 1080 to 1081 let me save this file okay now let me go ahead and start the server okay now to access 1080 will not work because you have changed the port so 1081 will work so let me change this to 1081 and now it works okay or you can change to any port that you want you need not have to change to 1081 as i have mentioned you can change it to any port okay you can change it to any port over here instead of 1081 you can change it to any port as long as it's available not used by any program and then close this one and start the server again since I've changed the port. Okay, now go back and use that port. Okay, and now you'll be able to access this application. So these are the couple of trouble to troubleshooting steps in case if you bump into any issues. The first one is just right click on it and run as an admin. Even that one is not working. Most probably you are using the standard port which is 1080 by some other application is using it or you are using it for some other application. Then you can go to the conf folder and change the port. Sorry for the background noise. There is a festival which is going on today. So that's the reason why you have the background noise. Please ignore it. And by the way, Isha is offering a lot of courses. So uh, you can look at the courses. You know, we offer the JMeter uh, courses, Loadrunner, HTTP protocol or Web Services protocol, SAP GUI protocol, TrueClient protocol or any of the other protocols that you wanted. And I do provide the live project supports as well, uh, which means that, you know, you you are in US or any other country and you have the issues or you're 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 doing the performance testing project for the first time you need my help uh, please let me know I can help you out on that as well and if you needed certain courses like NeoLoad or any of those like rational performance tester or maybe selenium or QTP I'll be able to arrange those trainings for you okay or any other work or I'm implementing a lot of projects for different clients so uh, you're a client and you uh, you wanted a performance testing project to be implemented for you definitely I can do that on JMeter which is totally free of cost so uh, the tool itself is free of cost obviously my services will be paid or, or else you're using the load runner we can certainly do the load runner as well so uh, so here is this is the thing guys so that's about it thank you